When it comes to cooking and baking, I think we all have that favorite pot or pan. So I thought I'd share our top six pieces of cookware we use on a weekly basis. We cook primarily Asian and Midwestern comfort inspired dishes. I think these pieces cover a wide variety of cooking approaches. So if you're thinking of diversifying your cooking style, you might want to try one of these for pan frying, stir frying, stews, or roasting. Number six is the cast iron. This was a present from my fellow cooking and baking buddy, Joanna. I use this for making pizza, shakshuka, steaks, and chops. Just listen to that sizzle. Ugh. It's a great pan for recipes that need to go from stove to oven, um, or vice versa. Or, you know, apparently as a weapon. Honestly, there's no way Rapunzel could have wielded this one-handed and not had beefier forearms. So heavy, much pan. Wow. I, I don't I don't think you can't hold it one handed. Like You can. I can't. It's hard, yeah. Like your forearm Difficult. strength would have to be like <laughs> like you can hold it like this because you're stacking the weight like yeah. right here, I think. I don't think you could actually like. Wow. It's so dangerous. You do it long enough, you get big guns. It's like as big as my face. Yeah. Let me try. You. Here. You do it with one I have the power! What's wrong with my head? Heavy. It is heavy. I don't know how many pounds it is, actually. Uh, I don't know. Maybe no. eight. Eight pounds? That's it? Maybe more. That's a. That's like a baby. Eight pounds is a gallon of milk. So... <laughs> it's heavier than that. It might be 12 pounds. Two gallons of milk. Yeah. I just don't think it's... It's not reasonable. It's just not. Well, you're not going to use it that way. <laughs> this direction actually is better. Okay. Oh. It's it's unreal. You can get one of these bad boys on Amazon for around $20. Uh, just make sure you also get the chain mail for cleaning. It's super handy. Number five is the Le Creuset. This was a present from my grandma who had no idea what a Le Creuset was and thought it was just too small and heavy for her to use. She's not wrong. It is heavy for its size, uh, but it is perfect for two people. I use it mostly for making stews and soups. It is very satisfying to brown meat or saute onions in and then deglaze. There's a reason why everyone knows this name. At first I thought I'd like a fun colored one, but the antique white is actually really nice and matches anything in the kitchen. Number four is the wok. This was an awesome present from our good friend Jared. Uh, this wok is round bottomed, which I prefer as opposed to the flat bottomed ones. Um, it has handles on both sides, which I highly recommend getting. You do have to season the wok before you use it, but that's super easy. Um, you can tell we've given ours a lot of love just based on the color. This one also came with a lid, uh, which is great. Once you get used to caring for it, it's a breeze and definitely ups the cool factor in your cooking arsenal. Number three, you can't go wrong with a heavy bottom, thick walled, small to medium sized pot. I use this pot all the time for making ramen, boiling eggs, and more importantly, simmering marinades, pickling solutions, syrups, jams, and ghee. The thick walls help maintain the temperature well and the lid with holes lets steam out and also acts as a built-in sieve. The only bummer is that because it's dark, it's hard to see the color of what you're making, so I'd recommend getting a stainless steel one or something lighter. Otherwise, a sturdy pot like this is definitely the way to go. Number two is sheet pans. Cookie sheets are not all equal. My two favorites are this jelly roll pan, which is thick and unbendable in the heat. Also a present from grandma. I honestly don't know where she gets this quality stuff, uh, as well as the industrial half sheet. They're just the right sizes for baking and roasting at home. Um, you add a wire rack into the sheet pan and you've got a winning combination. 
The rack allows the air to circulate under the pan and helps your items crisp up. It's just perfect. And coming in, number one is our mini nonstick fry pan. If we're talking about day-to-day -day use, this is definitely number one. It's perfect for whipping up breakfast for two. Uh, unfortunately, these mini pans tend to be made of cheaper stuff and don't last as long, especially the nonstick coating. So I'll probably end up replacing this one with a stainless steel one in future. Um, but honestly, the size is really perfect. I thought it was going to be too small at first, but it really is just nice to hold, great on the burner. Um, and yeah, if, it, if you're cooking for two people, it's perfect. So definitely would recommend getting one of these. So there you have it, the top six pieces of cookware we use in the kitchen. What are your go-to pans? Do you have any family heirlooms or pots you just can't live without? Are you on team stainless steel or team nonstick? Comment below. We'll see you next time.